New research shows mRNA technology, like some COVID vaccines, can reduce wrinkles and eliminate signs of skin aging in mice. Wait a second, mRNA technology? Is this the government plot to make us all sexier? Welcome to Lifespan News, I'm Emmett Short. Finding a good way to deliver molecular cargo into cells is big business. It's probably why there's so many dating apps. The use of messenger ribonucleic acid or mRNA received a lot of attention during the COVID pandemic, but this technology has a lot more potential and is even tested for use in cancer treatments. So you can learn more about this in our previous episode of Lifespan News linked here and in the description, COVID vaccines like the mRNA-based ones from Moderna and Pfizer use lipid nanoparticles to get their molecular cargo inside cells. These are biosimilar, and sometimes they can be cytotoxic or immunogenic and often not specific enough with the types of cells that they go after. Hey, polyamory might work for some lipids, but in my body, I need some commitment. I just want a lipid that really gets me, you know? Enter EVs extracellular vesicles. These are nature's nanolipids. Cells create EVs, tiny droplets that permeate through cellular membranes, passing molecular information without causing an immune reaction. Best of all, they have what's called inherent targeting, meaning they only have eyes for the cell types they were meant to be with. It's so beautiful. In this new study published in the journal Nature, researchers were able to pack mRNA inside these natural EVs. The mRNA encoded for a gene that creates collagen. It's called collagen 1, alpha 1, but let's just call it the collagen gene. Collagen gets depleted with age, causing wrinkles, but it also affects your joints and ligaments and tendons. Many products and procedures claim to help with collagen deficiency. I drink it with my coffee because Jennifer Aniston told me to, and she looks great. But none of the currently available technologies has been effective in achieving long-term collagen replacement. If this method is successful, we're talking about a natural mRNA, like vaccine for wrinkles, goldmine. How did they do it? The researchers used something called cellular nanoporation. They used an electrical field to create pores in cell membranes so that the mRNA can get inside the EVs. And then those EVs had 3000 times more collagen gene than natural EVs. Then. They injected these souped up EVs into aged fibroblasts, which are connective tissue cells that produce collagen proteins. These connective tissues, fibroblasts, started producing way more collagen, but also new fibroblasts, which then created even more collagen. It was like a collagen flywheel. It was nuts. For their in vivo experiments, the researchers used mouse models of UV induced skin aging. Basically, they gave the mice a bunch of sunburns to cause wrinkles. I know, I know what that looks like, but keep it clean. Keep it clean. This is, this is a mouse. These are mice backs, okay? How dare you? This is science. Okay, uh, they pitted their EVs against healthy control mice with no wrinkles and a group that had been treated with the lipid nanoparticles that also had the collagen gene mRNA in there. 12 hours after receiving the treatment, collagen gene mRNA peaked and had increased significantly returning to baseline levels after four days. Both LNP and EV treatments led to decreases in wrinkle number and area, but the EV group had the biggest change. By day 28, the EV group had as few wrinkles as the healthy mice. LNP and EV treatments both resulted in higher elasticity and firmness. Basically, these mice got way sexier. The researchers also compared the immunogenic side effects of LNPs and EVs so 24 hours after injection, the skin treated with the LNPs showed redness, swelling, and a recruitment of immune cells. But tissue treated with EVs did not exhibit a strong inflammatory reaction, showing that EVs cause much less of an immune response than LNPs. Unfortunately, wrinkles did reappear about one week later, and about two months after the treatment, the wrinkle number and area went back to pre-treatment levels. But they tried something new. They repeated their experiments, and instead of injection, they used microneedle patches treated with EVs. You put the patch on, and then you take it off, but the microneedle stays in place. Not only did this method cause wrinkle reduction to last 
twice as long, it also resulted in more even dispersion of the collagen. So less clumping, more smooth, wrinkle-free skin. So this proof of concept showed us two things. mRNA delivery through extracellular vesicles delivers great results with less side effects, and microneedle application is an effective delivery system. If you were excited by this and you wanna learn more, make sure to subscribe and click the bell because it's all happening right here. I'm Emmett Short, and we'll see you next time on Lifespan News.